Hello, uh, we are at the home of LNG White and we're gonna show you some of her uh, things that she has here. She lived in this house from 1900 to 1915. While she was here, she wrote nine books. Right behind me are the nine books that uh, you can see. The books is Education, Ministry of Healing, Gospel Workers, Counsels to Parents, Students, and Teachers, Acts of the Apostles, Prophets and King, and Testimonies to the Church, Volume 7, 8, and 9. As you can see, it's a variety of subjects. Subjects in education, in health, in schooling, and also faith-based, uh, Bible-based faith. Here is a most fam famous painting of Ellen White. Uh, it's an original painting. Underneath are the 62 books that she wrote. Ellen White is the number one author in the history of literature in the United States, male or female, uh, religious or secular. No one has written as many books as she has. No one has been translated in as many languages as she has, 160 languages. And no one has written as many pages as Ellen White, 100,000 pages of manuscripts. Here is the dining room. Mrs. White was a lacto-oval vegetarian, so she did not eat meat. Uh, all the dishes in here were vegetarians. She only ate two meals per day, one about seven o'clock in the morning and the other one about 1.30 or two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, she said that uh, uh, being a vegetarian is going to give you a longer life. And it's a proven fact now that vegetarians live from seven to 10 years longer. And if you're a vegan, you're gonna live up to 15 years longer. So you might want to try being a vegetarian if you want a healthier lifestyle. Mrs. White was also very modern because she had a telephone, as you can see there in the wall. We do have a telephone directory from 1912, and we have her telephone number if you would like to see that. We'll go here to the right, and we can see the kitchen. It was a wood-burning stove. Uh, this would get very hot and uh, Mrs. White uh, would uh, cook in here. She would not allow any cooking on Friday night after sundown or the Sabbath, but she always had a warm meal every Sabbath. How did she do it? She was very modern, like I told you. She had this, uh, what's called a fireless cooker. To her, it was like uh, a modern crock pot or microwave oven. She would cook this, uh, maybe vegetables here, and uh, the stone would be put in the fire and maybe she might have had some pancit to cook. <laughs> so uh, she would cook it half ways, put it in here, the rock in here, and this other pot back in here. And this was very well insulated. She would shut it, lock it, and during the Friday night when they slept, it finished cooking. When she came home from uh, church on Sabbath uh, at noon, it was still warm. So she always had a nice warm meal without having to cook on the Sabbath hours. This typewriter here is where all the nine books that Ellen White wrote they were written on that typewriter. She brought this chair with her from Australia where she wrote the book Desire of Ages. And she also wrote the nine books that we have in this house during the 15 years that she was here. One Sabbath morning, she walked in here, fell down on the floor. They took her to the sanitarium and they found out she had a broken left hip. They could do nothing for her except give her this hospital bed. And this is, Mrs. White spent her last five months in this hospital bed until the day that she died. Six days later, Mrs. White dies. And the day that she died, her secretary was kneeling down here at her foot of her bed she gets up and goes to this clock here and stops the clock at the exact time that Ellen White died. She died August 16th, 1915. It was a Friday afternoon and Mrs. White rested for the Sabbath.